Also have new details for you tonight on the public university professor blasted for her anti-white tweets that we told you about earlier this week, like her tweet equating whiteness with terrorism. Now we're learning that she is teaching at yet another university. Catherine Timpf is a reporter for National Review and a contributor to the Greg Gutfeld Show on Fox News. Kat, good to see you. So, Zandria Robinson landed on her feet, and not only did Rhodes College hire her, but they say the criticisms of her are themselves racist. Yes, you would think that after all this controversy, they might be second guessing their decision to hire her, but no, they're saying these kind of controversial comments are great. They're excited to have her because these comments are going to lead to free and open exchange of ideas. And I got to say, though, knowing what she openly admits, I would be a little afraid to exchange any ideas in her classroom, knowing that she is looking at me and thinking that I have all the makings of a mass murderer just based on how I look. So maybe they didn't really think that one all the way through. You find a little off-putting to hear her say whiteness equals terror. And uh, she goes on from there, talking about how, oh, I don't know, she talks about how the only riots that have ruined communities and cost lives in American history are those perpetrated by whites against blacks. And, oh, I, I mean, the list goes on and on. Whiteness is most certainly inevitably terror. And yet this new university comes out and says she's a valued faculty member and that they hired her because of her extensive understanding of race in American society. So I guess we know what we need to know about Rhodes College. Right, right, exactly, exactly. I spoke to another professor at Rhodes College today and he said it seems like it's crazy to hire someone who very openly dislikes such a large chunk of our student body. But what's obvious here is that if she had said something that offended liberal sensibilities, then she wouldn't have done so well. You look at what happened to Tim Hunt. He made sexist jokes, Nobel Prize winner, his career crumbled. She's not a Nobel Prize winner, and she's definitely not joking. This wasn't just a single tweet. This is a repeated pattern. Oh, no, she's a believer. She's a believer. Now, speaking of sexism, you mentioned Tim. Um, there's yet another way in which you can be labeled a sexist pig, and it involves commenting on something on a woman's body. Tell us what it is. Tattoos. If you say anything about a woman's tattoos, tattoos, no matter what, you're oppressing her because you're commenting on something that's on her body. So obviously that's oppression, and obviously you're a horrible pig and a sexist and oppressing her with the patriarchy if you do that. Even though I would think I don't have any tattoos, but if I did, I might want people to like them. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> Apparently if a man comments on your tattoo, he is asserting his dominance over you. <laughs> right. Basically, if you're a guy, don't He's talk to his women. Dominance. Or else you are asserting your dominance and oppressing us. That's what some people think, right. and I sure hope that doesn't come more widespread. Believe it or not, I like when people talk just, to me. Just, just stay in your basement and apologize for being a man, <laughs> and, then, and then they'll be happy. Kat, good to see you. Good to see you, too.